Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Western Ag Network. Welcome back for today's Farm and Ranch News. Looking to news from the Golden Arches, where late last week, McDonald's shareholders rejected Carl Icahn's bid to get two animal rights activists on the fast food restaurant's board of directors. The billionaire investor wants to force the company and others to stop buying pork from hog farms who use individual pens for sows. Several other food firms, including Wendy's, Papa John's, and Dine Brands Global, which owns Applebee's and IHOP, recently have rebuffed similar moves. The National Pork Producers Council, which has worked with the restaurant industry to address concerns it has with pork production practices, supports the right of producers to use sow housing systems that are best for their animals and operations. The association pointed out that the American Veterinary Medical Association and the American Association of Swine Veterinarians both recognize individual and group housing as appropriate for providing for the well-being of sows during pregnancy. The National Pork Producers applaud McDonald's and their board for blocking the animal rights activists' nomination. Well, in other news, the liquidation of the U.S. cattle herd continues. Heifers in the fed cattle slaughter area surged to 39.4% for the total for the week of May 9th. Now, this isn't unusual for other months during the year, but it is very uncharacteristic for early May. The last two years indicate heifers have seen an average of just 35.5% slaughtered for that same week. Year to date, the heifer count is up 2.5% while steer slaughter is down 1.9% in the slaughter mix. That's just further indication of heifer liquidation rather than retention in the herd for breeding purposes. This all comes as a result as drought continues to force herd reduction across the West. We'll be right back. Join the Wyoming Stock Growers Association as they celebrate their 150th anniversary of serving the livestock businesses and families of Wyoming. It all takes place June 8th through the 11th in Cheyenne. Learn more and get registered by visiting the Wyoming Stock Growers Association's website. Returning back, looking to trade news, where the United States and Taiwan have announced they soon will begin negotiations on improving their economic and trade relationship. The U.S.-Taiwan Initiative on 21st Century Trade will help facilitate more trade, including agricultural trade and trade by small and medium enterprises. Ag groups are encouraged by the trade talks with Taiwan and hopes they will resolve a number of long-standing trade issues between the island nation and the U.S. to increase exports of U.S. pork, beef, and grain to the nation. Well, speaking of pork, as of June 1st, pork trim prices have failed to keep pace with the market seen a year ago. Pork trim and cold storage at the end of April 2021 came in at 4.13 million pounds, 15% lower than the 2017 through 19 average. At the end of April of this year, the supply of pork trim and cold storage was 26% higher than the previous year and also 6.8% higher than the 2017 through 19 average. Exports to China are currently running 60 to 65% below a year ago, and this year's pork exports are expected to be down 7% across the board. That's today's Farm and Ranch News.